Hi everybody. Okay. We had Oliver in, gave him a bath today. Where'd he go, Oliver? He's <laughs> checking out the camera. He always has to come up and see the camera. Get back, bud, get back. But there's a new horse sale that we heard about. Never been to it. It probably is a smaller deal because it's a little small town. But uh, we're gonna go down there and see what it's all about. Um, I called them today. They said they had some draft harnesses, so maybe we can find something for Oliver to wear. That'd be nice. And hopefully we don't fall in love with another Clydesdale like we did Oliver, because I don't <laughs> know if I could feed another one. <laughs> we'll see you when we get there. Okay, we've made it to the stockyards, and uh, it's an old building, but we're gonna go inside and see what it's like. We've never been here before. Yep. So like JR said, we mostly came down to this auction to look at the tack and hopefully find a harness and some other things for Oliver. So we weren't really going with the plan on bringing a horse home. We kind of have our hands full at the moment. There was a Missouri Fox Trotter that was advertised that we thought we'd look at. We didn't really think we were interested in him, but sometimes you never know. And then I would like to eventually find our little mini pony Daisy, uh, a little friend. We don't really want to keep her with the herd, with the big horses, because she's so small. She's only 32 inches, uh, and it's just not really safe. So a pony friend is definitely something we are going to be looking for in the future but we're also in no hurry to find one this auction ended up being even smaller than we had anticipated there were probably roughly 30 35 horses So once we did a real quick walk around to check out all the horses we went to watch the tax sale uh, see if we could find anything for Oliver it really seemed like this auction was actually more about the tack than the horses. There was quite a bit of stuff they were going through. It was a bit hard to tell exactly what there was or if there was anything we'd be interested in, but JR went ahead and got a bidding number just in case. And right away he ended up buying a foam saddle pad. Uh, we use them on the horses sometimes, uh, and, but also he wanted to sit on it. The tack ended up taking close to four hours to get through, so after kind of seeing what there was, uh, if we would be interested, in anything we went and uh, checked out the horses a bit closer this black and white gated saddle horse um, probably used to be a very good horse but she has quite a bit of age on her now and if you look and see how her front knee is popped out and how she's standing and you can't see it in the film but her feet were dished out a little bit and her neck is pretty thick so it's pretty good chance that she has metabolic issues kind of like founder oh, yeah. or diabetes she's a bit overweight she's older and i'd say the people that are that own her are trying to just offload her while she they can still recoup some value out of her instead of um you know just letting her retire and live out her days is what she's needing to do so it's kind of sad to see her there because she was at one time a very nice horse and I'm sure she's still a sweet horse, Aww. but I just don't believe yeah. she's sound. He's got a pretty head on him. Yeah. That's how much, let me tell YouTube about that. Okay, so this cross on the back, that's from where Jesus rode, uh, you know, rode the donkey or the ass with the, with the baby alongside of it <laughs> on Palm Sunday. And that's from the land where Arabian horses were made. So if there's all those Arabian horses around and Jesus still chose to ride a donkey, that shows you how much he thinks of Arabian horses. <laughs> now, if there was fox trotters there, the whole Bible would have been written different. Jesus would have rode in on a fox trotter, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but you are pretty good. This is he, I think you like it. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> I don't know if Oliver would like a donkey. We'll put and him with the sheep. A, he is a stallion. We'll put him with the sheep. Uh, I don't know. He has a pretty head. He does have a really pretty head. He just needs some weight on him. It's funny that he likes you. Hi, buddy. You're a sweetheart. This is my favorite thing at the sale so far. Oh, yes, you are nice. Let's see if he comes to me. He definitely is going oh, to. Oh, yes, you did. I can tell he likes you. You are a good boy. He is a good boy. He has nice eyes. You are a good boy. Hi, buddy. Showed him your pretty eyes. Hi. 
What would we name him? Let me think. Gaston. <laughs> that would be his name. Aww. Doesn't he look like a Gaston? His feet look good. Yeah. Oh, he's resting his head in Aww. my hands. Uh oh. Every guy like to be you, Gaston. You give him an ear massage. Oh, he likes his ear massage. Here's a flea bitten gray. Very pretty. Speckles on it. Good built. Muscle tone, anyway. Got some cuts on his back legs. Some stock type horses here. How old was that horse back there? Five. About the one five. I mouthed? Yeah. yeah, five or six. Is that flea bitten gray too? Yeah, another flea bitten gray. Harder. About 20 years old. Aww. Probably a nice family kid's horse. She got a sweet little face. Yep. Yeah. She got a really long body. I don't know if you can yeah. tell from the camera. Really long body. Sweet old girl. It's kind of sad once they get to that age that they get rehomed. Yeah, it is. You know, because she's probably been at the same home for 10, 15 years. Yeah. But maybe they'll find a good home with kids that need to ride again. Yeah. I'd say its kids have grown up and moved on. <laughs> Aww. This is the Fox Trotter we came to find out. If he was registered. If he was registered or not. If he was registered, we were going to bid on it. But you, I just don't bid on unregistered horses because... You never can trust the age. You can only be so accurate with the teeth. And uh, after 20, it gets real hard to be accurate with the teeth. So I'm not gonna, not gonna be on that, but I will look. He's kind of in rough shape. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. He's 20 at least. Oh, I was thinking he looked older. Oh, very sweet boy. Hi. Nice. This kind of looks like a draft cross, maybe. Or at oh, least yeah. just a big horse. A big, He's a big horse. boy. Hey, bud. see your face, buddy. Hey. Hello. Hi there. Aww. Wanna be friends? Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, he is. This is a nice looking horse. He's almost as good a ho looking horse as that is a good looking donkey in there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, bud. You don't think so? A uh, stallion or a gelding? Looks like a gelding. You think he's a draft cross or you think he's straight something? I have plenty of pro, we have plenty of pro. Yeah, he'd be good rank on him. Look at his, his feet, I guess, are a little. Well, he doesn't have no. real big feet, but he's got big bones. This was a pretty high quality horse, and I was actually considering bidding on him. However, he ended up being pretty lame, and the owner wouldn't disclose that he was lame. As a matter of fact, the owner claimed he was 100% sound. But if you watch him be ridden into the ring later, you'll be able to pick up on his lameness. It's really unfortunate when they're brought to the sale because of a physical injury or like that, instead of you know seeking treatment or chiropractics where this horse could potentially uh, heal and find a better home. Good boy. We would walk around the back and try to look at all the other animals, but we kept getting drawn back to Gaston. And I really liked him. There was just something about his spirit and his quality that kind of made me think I needed to find him a home. So I was going to start calling all my contacts and making sure that Gaston found her a good home. But then I met a lady there at the sale that was also smitten with Gaston. And she said she was going to give him a good home and buy him. So I didn't bother calling anyone. And I'm just going to wait and see if she uh, makes it home with him. <laughs> so guys, what makes this guy really cool is they really like to have the striping on their legs. And he has really good striping. And of course, I've already pointed out the good uh, cross on his back and done stripe. That makes him really desirable.
So as soon as the sale started, the first horse to come in was this little buckskin pony. And it was a really nice quality, high, uh, pretty well-trained pony, really well-built pony too. This pony could carry quite a bit of weight. Um, ponies aren't built the same as horses. They're a little stockier and shorter back and they can carry a higher percentage of their body weight. So I'd say this pony would be good for a rider up to, you know, 90 or 100 pounds. And uh, it traveled good, and I bet, you know, I bet it would have been a good project for somebody. I think you guys will remember this one. This was the gold Palomino that was in the back that I looked at his teeth and said he was at least 20. Um, he is in still physically good shape, it looks like here. I don't see any lameness, and he seems to be um, fairly well trained. But I'm just not interested in that age bracket of a horse. And, I, you know, you've heard me on the channel before that I'm not the biggest fan of geldings anyway. Um, I prefer mares and stallions. But he was a good-looking horse, and I bet he was a good one back in the day. There's a pretty strong cross. He'll work the shafts. He'll work the ride. He'll work the between the shafts. He'll set iron. He'll set iron all the way around. He'll be 100% sound of the ride. He'll be 100% sound of the ride. So this was the really good crossbred horse that we saw in the back that I thought was about five years old. And you heard the owner say there that he's 100% sound. Well, if you watch him try to go, he can barely put weight on that inside, well, what would be his right hind leg. He short steps with it and gives to the weight. And it would be better if he would just, the owner would just address it instead of trying to hide it or not acknowledge it in the sale and say that the horse is 100% sound because at that point there there's just no way of knowing what else could be wrong he was a very well-bred and good-looking horse and he looked like he had a lot of training in him but the guy obviously came here to dump him and get rid of him because that problem isn't too easy to fix that's kind of what what you need to know about horses when you go to a sale that's why they say it's buyer beware but it is embarrassing when you see professionals say 100% sound on a horse that is obviously lame. Here was the gated pinto mare that I thought uh, had her front knee popped out from possible lameness or pain. 
she's traveling pretty decent in here, but they did say something about, you know, you need to dry lot her or she can kind of get sore footed if left out to pasture too much. So that means that my suspicion of the metabolic issues were correct. Does look like she would have been a really nice horse in her younger days. Um, I hope she went to a good home. I almost hollered at that guy to stop hitting my friend down there. So I'm actually sitting with the lady that said she was going to bid up to $350 and she had a really good home for him. So I told her if he went higher than that, that the channel would sponsor him and make sure she went, he went to a home where he wouldn't be bounced around from sale barn to sale barn. Unfortunately, she had lied to me and she then wouldn't bid and it kind of caught me by surprise and I didn't know what to do and I ended up letting him slip through where if she had just told the truth from the beginning, I would have made plans to have bought him myself and found him a good home because I would have had four hours to call around all my friends and contacts, find out who needed this good quality donkey. But you know things happen and you just have to let him go by and hope the best for him because he really was a, a catch of a donkey and he sold pretty cheap too okay so i didn't come home empty-handed <laughs> i bought this Cashel cushion. So it's an under pad cushion that takes up the weight. When I'm riding younger horses, I like to make sure that the saddle fit um, has an extra cushion below the uh, saddle pad. And um, that helps take some of the shock absorbing out there. Inch thick at the back. And, and I spent a lot of money on this. <laughs> I think I got it for $2. And he sat on it the whole yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, it cushioned me. So we are good to go that way. So we mostly went with the hopes of finding a harness for Oliver because um, he's ready to start his training and also to do a little networking, hopefully maybe try to find a farrier that would work on him. I'm still striking out on that behalf. Um, I think I'm just going to teach myself how to shoe him. I know how to shoe a regular horse. Probably have to build a forge. But um, other than that, wasn't that great of a sale, but still good experience a little bit of good news on the channel i think it's starting to make a comeback from the shadow banning that we've been under still hard to say yeah. during that time if if you want to support us in other ways you can always check out our patreon page while the uh youtube channel is kind of getting hammered and then also just make sure you like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you see any new videos that come out <laughs>